Welcome back to CyberSleuth. Today we're diving into a critical topic that affects millions of users worldwide, the most common Android hacking attacks. Whether you're an Android user or a developer, understanding these threats is essential for keeping your data safe. From malware and phishing to ransomware and unsecured Wi-Fi, we'll cover it all. We'll break down each attack, show you how they work, and most importantly, give you practical tips to protect yourself. We'll also discuss the latest security measures you can take, like two-factor authentication, regular software updates, and using strong passwords. Plus, we'll show you how to use VPNs, manage app permissions, and download secure apps to enhance your protection. So, stay tuned and let's get started on making your Android experience safer and more secure. So, Android, it's everywhere, right? Billions of devices worldwide. And that popularity makes it a huge target for hackers. Think about it. More users mean more potential victims. While Android has some pretty solid security features built in, no system is perfect. Vulnerabilities exist, and hackers are constantly looking for new ways to exploit them. We're going to dig into the most prevalent attack vectors that target Android users specifically. Understanding how these attacks work is the first step in defending yourself. We'll cover everything from sneaky malware hiding in seemingly harmless apps to sophisticated phishing schemes designed to trick you into handing over your passwords. Let's unpack these threats one by one so you can stay ahead of the curve. We'll explore how these attacks can impact your device and, more importantly, what you can do to prevent them. This isn't just about technical jargon. It's about practical advice you can use every day to keep your data secure. So let's get into it. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the threats and how to protect yourself. Stay tuned, and let's make your Android experience safer together. Malware. It's a word that gets thrown around a lot, but what exactly is it? Basically, it's any malicious software designed to harm your device or steal your data. Think of it as the digital equivalent of a virus. And on Android, it can take many forms. Sometimes it hides in apps that look totally legitimate. Other times it sneaks onto your device through infected email attachments or compromised websites. Once it's in, malware can wreak havoc. It can steal your personal information, like passwords and banking details. It can track your online activity, monitoring everything you do. And in some cases, it can even take complete control of your device, turning it into a zombie botnet. We'll look at some real-world examples of malware attacks on Android, and I'll show you how to spot the red flags. Staying vigilant is key. Regularly update your software, use trusted antivirus apps, and avoid suspicious links and downloads. Phishing. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, but it's still incredibly effective. Hackers use phishing to trick you into giving up your sensitive information. They might send you an email or a text message that looks like it's from a legitimate source, like your bank or a social media platform. The message will often contain a link, and if you click on it, you'll be taken to a fake website that looks almost identical to the real thing. This is where the trap is sprung. If you enter your login credentials or other personal details on the fake site, the hacker will capture them. We'll dive into the different types of phishing attacks and how to identify them. Remember, always double check the sender's address and be wary of any links that seem suspicious. Additionally, enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. This adds an extra layer of security. Regularly update your passwords and use a password manager to keep track of them. Stay informed about the latest phishing tactics and educate yourself on cybersecurity best practices. Ever connect to public Wi-Fi at a coffee shop or airport? It's convenient, but it can also be a security risk. That's where man-in-the-middle attacks come into play. Imagine a hacker intercepting your communication with a website like your online banking portal. They sit between you and the website, eavesdropping on everything you send and receive. They can steal your login credentials, your credit card details, and any other sensitive information you transmit. This is why using a VPN or virtual private network is so important, especially on public Wi-Fi. A VPN encrypts your connection, making it much harder for hackers to intercept your data. We'll explore how MITM attacks work and demonstrate the importance of secure connections. Think of a VPN as a secure tunnel for your data. By encrypting your data, a VPN ensures that even if someone intercepts it, they can't read it. 
So next time you're on public Wi-Fi, remember to use a VPN to keep your data safe. Ransomware. It's a scary word, and for good reason. This type of attack essentially holds your data hostage. Hackers encrypt your files, making them inaccessible, and then demand a ransom for the decryption key. It's like a digital kidnapping. Ransomware can be devastating, especially if you don't have backups of your important files. We'll discuss how ransomware spreads and what you can do to protect yourself. Regular backups are crucial. Think of them as an insurance policy for your data. If you get hit by ransomware, you can simply restore your files from a backup without paying the ransom. We'll also cover some best practices for data backup and recovery. Additionally, using strong passwords and enabling two-factor authentication can add extra layers of security. Keeping your software up to date is another key step in protecting against ransomware attacks. With these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to ransomware. Free Wi-Fi. It's tempting, right? But it can also be a dangerous trap. Unsecured Wi-Fi networks like those you find in public places are often easy targets for hackers. They can easily monitor your online activity, steal your passwords, and even inject malware onto your device. This is why it's so important to be cautious when connecting to public Wi-Fi. Always look for networks that require a password, and if you're handling sensitive information, use a VPN. Think of it this way. Would you leave your front door unlocked? Probably not. So why leave your digital door wide open? We'll demonstrate some of the risks associated with unsecured Wi-Fi and show you how to protect yourself. Remember, a little caution can go a long way in keeping your data safe. Stay safe, stay secure, and always be aware of the risks. We all rely on apps, but they can also be a source of vulnerability. Many apps, even those from reputable developers, can contain security flaws that hackers can exploit. These vulnerabilities can allow hackers to steal your data, install malware, or even take control of your device. So, how can you protect yourself? Always download apps from official app stores like the Google Play Store. Keep your apps updated as updates often include security patches and read reviews before installing an app. If other users have reported security issues, it's a good idea to steer clear. We'll discuss some common app vulnerabilities and offer tips for choosing safe and secure apps. Think of it like checking the ingredients list before you buy food. You want to make sure you're not consuming anything harmful. Using a security app can help identify and remove threats. Enable two-factor authentication for an extra layer of security. And always review app permissions to ensure they're necessary for the app's functionality. Stay safe in the digital world. To wrap up, staying informed about these common Android hacking attacks is crucial for protecting your device and personal information. Always practice safe browsing habits, keep your software updated, and be cautious about the apps you install. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing process. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more cybersecurity tips. Stay safe out there and see you in the next video. Remember, your safety is in your hands. Stay informed, stay secure, and keep your digital life protected.